Hey, so today we're going to talk about Add on your Construct 3 game. Having Add in your game is quite the subject. Back in the Construct 2 days, it was a pain to do. You basically had to get a third party plugin that kinda got the job done, but then kinda didn't. It wasn't that reliable, and you would almost never get support and updates as quickly as you needed. But here's the cool part. With Construct 3, the process of having Add in your game is pretty simple and straightforward. The Construct team did an awesome job with the official mobile adverb plugin. So we now do everything without leaving the engine. So here's how you do it. First, you need to create your own AdMod account. If you don't have one already, go to admod.google.com and follow the steps to create a new account. Once you have your account ready, click the app section on the left menu. You will see a small window here where you can create a new app. Click here. Follow the steps to create a new app. Now that you have your app ready on AdMod, you can start creating the different ads that you want to use inside your game. There are several kinds of ads, including banners, interstitial, rewarded videos, etc. In this video, we will use interstitials. Click Add Ad Unit. Select Interstitial. Give a name to your ad. We can leave everything else as it is. Click Create Ad Unit, and we are done. You have your first ad ready to use. Now that we have our ad ready on AdMod, it is time to go into Construct 3 and start adding this ad to your game. First, double click anywhere in the layout to open the object tab and find the mobile advert plugin. Add it to your project. Now, an important part here, these are the mobile advert plugin properties. Like you can see, the plugin is asking us for a couple of IDs about our game. This is how Construct 3 knows what ads to show when people are playing our game. Where do we find this information, you may ask? Well, we find it on our app mod account. Go back to app mod, open your app and find the app ID. Copy and paste to Construct 3 and done. If you want to put your game on iOS as well, all you need to do is create a new app, select iOS, and copy and paste the ID here. Now that we have our plugin ready, it is time to tell our game where we want to show the ads. To do this, let's go to our events sheet. Here is how ads work on Construct. So, in order to show ads to our player, we need the game to load the ads in advance. This process can take a few seconds, so you need to take this into consideration when designing your game. You shouldn't load the ad right before showing it, because depending on the player internet connection, it may take too much to load, and either the ad won't show or it could make the experience a little annoying for the player. In this case, since I want the ad to appear at the end of the layout, I can load the interstitial at the beginning. That way, I give it enough time to load before showing the ad to the player. Let's do that. When you create a new ad, Construct will ask you for the advert unit ID. You can find this information on AdMod. Once you have your ad created, you can show it whenever you want. In this case, we want the ad to appear when the layout ends. So create a new event and pick the action Show Interstitial. We have our ad ready for launch, but what happens if for some reason the ad doesn't load? Well, we need to create a separate event 
telling the game that if the ad doesn't load properly, it should try again. That way, we create a nice loop and make sure we always have our ad ready to show. And that's pretty much it. We have officially added ads to our game. Remember, there are different kinds of ads you can use, but all of them can be implemented following a similar process. One last thing, ads won't show on the Construct 3 preview or on a PC build, so to make sure your ads are working, we need to export an Android build. Take the APK to your phone and install it. Make sure you check this mark here on the plugin properties. This will ensure that even if the real ads aren't ready, the game will show you some fake ones. That way, you know your code is working fine. But make sure, and this is very important, make sure you uncheck this mark before exporting your final version of the game so you can show real ads on your game, otherwise you won't make any money from it. So this is how you implement ads in Construct 3. As you can see, there are several other types of ads you can use. Experiment with them and find the one that works the best for your game. Remember to think carefully where and when you show ads to your player. The last thing you want is players getting annoyed by the amount of ads. Yeah. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing now. I am trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. What do you think? You think we can make it? Show your support by clicking that button. If you find this video useful, leave a like and share it with another Construct 3 developer who might need it. Let's help each other and make our Construct 3 journey as easy as possible. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!